Welcome to the next part of this exercise. So and picking up where we left off, let's continue with the development of this model and request now the reinforcement steel design of one of the columns. Thus let's proceed, and pick the proper element. Or let's say, this particular column. Here we have then the concrete element belonging to the column. So let's go ahead, and request the calculation of the reinforcement and thus generation of its design. Here we have then the detail drawing pertaining to the reinforcement of the column. And worth noting, that if we were dealing with more complex elements, we would have also obtained several other detail drawings, instead of just one. And if that was the case, we could use these top arrows, to navigate across the available drawings. But let's continue, and take a quick look at the results for this column. Let's begin for example by going to the results tab, so we can check if the design of this column is properly within the safety coefficients. Well and by looking at these diagrams, we can see that this particular column, is perfectly within the safety limits defined by the design code. So let's go now to the column note, and check if we have any remarks. Well once more it seems that the design of this element is correct. And thus we may carry on, and continue with the development of our structural model.